that this will make some change today at this moment. Uh, I want to really thank you all for gathering here tonight, for spending your time to make some change towards uh, refugees and also including my wife Mojgan. Mojgan now is in a really tough situation where Iranian uh, foreign minister is uh, coming next week and instead of having another good news that can change her faith to live again peacefully with me she's scared, she's desperate, she's exhausted of this life that she's living in and having to say this I do not have anything really that can make her happy again. Recently I heard that because of all mental health issues that everybody is going through in detention, that the detention is getting empty and she's like the only one in the empty space. She thinks like that now. She have already cut her hair, shaved it. and. The mental health officers are saying that it's because of mental health issues that she's going through. And I, I cannot take that as a husband. As a caring husband in, in Australia, I do not want my wife to go through these tough times. And I think, I think that I believe that anywhere that she goes, that she forced to go, I will go with her. I will show everybody in here and every other people around the board that love matters, love makes ways. If she goes back to Iran forcibly, if the government is happy to do this, I will be happy to go and show everyone that going to prison for one you love is nothing at all. I can do that without any fear. Iran is not a home for me anymore. I have escaped that country because my parents and I, we were already been into lots of problems in Iran. It was a dangerous country to say.